This conference will now be recorded. Before continue day two, let's discuss last class what we discuss. Very basic concepts of manual testing we discuss, such as definition of software testing and what is error and defect, bug, and as well as failure and project and product project and product and ways of software testing such as manual testing and as well as automation testing this is a concept yesterday we discuss if you miss yesterday class i hope you get the recording also you got the recording also so you can follow that okay so already we discussed <clears throat> this topics uh, software testing it's a process of conduct testing an application with an intention of finding defects error programmer while writing the code if programmer find out any mistake call error defect and bug testing engineer while conducting testing if any expected value not equal with actual value and fail after delivered to customer if customer facing any problem call fail and project and product which is developed for specific client requirement call as project and which is developed for enter the market requirement call as product and ways of software testing two ways such as manual testing and as well as automation testing without any help only by human interactions are called manual testing with the help of tools and softwares are called automation testing okay so now comes into day two today we can discuss about the main topic of the day two sdlc what is sdlc software development life cycle what is software development life cycle first of all if you want to become a software engineer you should know how the companies will implementing the project day by day one by one one by one so the all implementation activities nothing but call as sdlc once again today we are in day two class we are discussing about sdlc sdlc stands for software development life cycle in this session in sdlc all implementation activities we can learn from starting to from once the project is starting from starting to before deliver to customer okay so uh, sdlc topic is very very important to become a software engineer not only for testing engineer if you want to become a developer or network engineer or hardware engineer so any kind of the software engineer this knowledge compulsory okay so i hope everyone you able to see my screen yes thank you thank you for your response okay today let's start that sdlc and already your btech and mca you have the subject sdlc but that is subject but today you can learn real time how the project will be implemented the more difference is there in between the both subject and real time implementation so today in this session you can learn how the real time will be implemented the first of all guys sdlc starts with software bidding what is software bidding in this phase our company ceo ceo stands for chief executive officer ceo go to client side confirm the project so once again the first phase software bidding software bidding ceo go to client side 
confirm the project the small imagination we are all are working in one company if you if you all are working in one small company for example big classes we are all are working in big classes now we need one project to develop to test and deliver to customer and to confirm the project our company from our company ceo will go to client side for example let us take example of hdfc bank hdfc bank they are looking for one internal software who is that hdfc bank they are looking for one internal software then to confirm the project from that hdfc bank from our company ceo will go to client side confirm the project who will confirm the project yes ceo the first phase of sdlc software bidding here our company ceo go to client side confirm the project for confirmation for confirmation making agreement in between software company and corresponding client the process nothing but call as software bidding so finally in this phase project will be confirmed by ceo ceo stands for chief executive officer okay so i hope you understood the first phase once again software bidding ceo go to client side confirm the project for confirmation making agreement in between software company and corresponding client next phase kick off meeting once project confirmed by ceo same ceo conduct a meeting with project managers to select project manager for current project once again software bidding so who will confirm the project ceo once project confirmed by ceo same ceo conduct meeting with all project managers small small imagination guys i am the ceo for example once i confirm the hdfc project once i confirm hdfc project i will come back to the company and i will conduct meeting with all project managers for example in my company if 10 project managers are there i will conduct a meeting with 10 project managers but out of 10 7 project managers busy with other projects three managers on bench bench means what not sitting on wood bench bench means just they completed previous project they are waiting for next project so who are waiting for next project the people we are call bench so out of three if it is a banking domain who will have good experience in the banking that person i'll select as a project manager if it is a insurance domain out of three who will have good experience in the insurance that person i'll select as a project manager if it is a e-commerce domain if it is a retail domain so if it is a hospitality domain depending on the application domain project manager will be confirmed by ceo so finally to select project manager ceo conduct the meeting the meeting nothing but call as kick off meeting so once again first software bidding here project will be confirmed by ceo second phase kick off meeting this meeting will be conducting by the ceo to select project manager without project manager we not able to implement any one of the project any one of the project so to maintain development team to maintain testing team to follow all implementation activities the meeting the thing but call as kick off meeting okay so i have a doubt my doubt is okay this meeting will conducting by the ceo with project managers then why why this terminology call as kick off meeting why this terminology call as kick off meeting then it is we can call also normal meeting right why why it is call as kick off meeting because any kind of startup meeting nothing but call as kick off meeting any kind of startup meeting nothing but call as kick off meeting okay so project confirmed by ceo and project manager uh, selected by ceo so once project manager selected 
he want to inform to team members because only by the project manager it's not possible to implement the project under the project manager development team members will be there testing team members will be there hardware team members will be there network design team members will be there how like uh, whenever project manager confirm for the project first of all he want to share the information to all team members are you clear my point he want to share the information to all team members how how he will share the information yes he will prepare one document how he will share information not through whatsapp okay just he will prepare one mail or document nothing but call as project initiation note it is call as like uh, information note will be prepared by project manager it contains just information of current project once again the first phase software bidding ceo go to client side confirm the project second phase kick off meeting this meeting will be conducting by the ceo to select a project manager once project manager got selected immediately he will prepare one information one information or uh, like starting document the starting document nothing but call as project initiation note which contains information of who is the client what is the project what is the domain just information will be there which is called as project initiation note guys it is a startup document that's what it is called initiation initiation means nothing but starting document just to inform to team members which is called as project initiation note so i hope up to here you understood guys who will confirm the project at software bidding ceo and who will conduct kick off meeting ceo to select project manager next who will prepare initiation note project manager next requirement gathering what is requirements first of all what is meaning of requirements customer needs if i want to purchase one mobile if i go to one mobile showroom if i stand in front of the uh, like uh, in front of the uh, shop is it possible to get no we have to explain what is my requirement that means i need mobile so and so budget so and so brand so and so features that is called as what requirement if you want to purchase any one laptop or any one computer if you go to any showroom lenovo hp dell like that once if you enter first we have to explain what is our requirement such as so and so hard disk so and so ram so and so process without the requirement is it possible to get same to implement the project we need requirements from the customer we need requirements from the customer so requirement gathering then then who will collect the requirements from the customer we need requirements from the customer to collecting requirements from the customer experts will be there the experts nothing but call as business analyst also called as system analyst so domain experts nothing but call as business analyst also called as system analyst they will prepare two types of document such as brs and srs brs stands for business requirement specification SR stands for software requirement specification. Once again, guys, look at my screen. Requirement gathering. Business analyst go to client side, collecting requirements from the customer. First, he will prepare BRS. Everyone, look at my screen. The first person, business analyst, he will go to client side. He will collect all requirements from the customer and first document prepare as brs br stands for business requirement specification br stands for what business requirement specification here here brs contains entire the project requirement based on the brs system analyst will design 
number of SRS documents for all team members. Guys, one second I will repeat. Look at my screen. Requirement gathering. First, who will collect the requirement? Yes, business analyst. What he will do? He will go to client side. For example, who is our client? Example, HDFC, right? So, business analyst will go to HDFC. He will collect all project requirements and all requirements he will prepare as a BRS. BRS contains entire the project requirement. But developers, they are looking for only development requirement. Testing engineers, they are looking for only testing requirements. Hardware engineers, they are looking for only hardware requirements. So, so system analyst based on BRS, he will prepare one SRS for development, one more SRS for testing process, one more SRS for hardware, one more SRS for designing. Like that, based on one BRS, number of SRS documents will be designed by system analyst. You know, you know one thing, if you're working as a testing engineer, if you're working as a developer, if you're working as a, any software engineer to understand, to understand your work related requirement, we have to start analyzing the SRS document. Are you clear my point? BRS stands for business requirement specification. SRS stands for software requirement specification. Once again, so this is very very important phase, guys. Requirement gathering. So requirement gathering phase. Business analyst will go to client side, collecting requirements. First requirements preparing as a BRS. Based on the BRS, system analyst will prepare number of SRS documents. Finally, finally, any project only one BRS and number of multiple SRS documents will be there. Only one BRS and number of SRS documents will be there. Okay. Once requirements are ready, so just now explain already, everyone concentrating on analyzing requirements. Analyzing requirements means nothing but understanding requirement because without understanding requirement, developer they are not able to develop the project, tester they are not able to test the project. Everyone, once requirements are ready, they have to concentrate on analyzing requirements analyzing requirements once analyze requirements in order to complete the project project plan will be prepared by project manager based on the requirements project plan will be prepared by project manager so project plan what what is the use of the plan like here project manager will confirm how many programmers are required programmer which technology they have to use such as java c sharp python and how many testing engineers required testing engineer what type of technology we have to use such as manual means what type of testing we have to perform such as manual testing or automation testing everything will be confirmed by project manager under the plan so without requirements plan not possible based on the requirements in order to complete the project so for all implementation activities plan will be prepared by project manager plan will be prepared by project manager next one design design done by architect also called as technical team first of all designing part is it important guys i will tell you one small example then you can decide whether designing part is important or not at one place uh, just i need one small double bedroom flat construction my requirement understand so my requirement what i like i need one double bedroom flat construction so uh, i approach with our contractor he is asking some 50 lakhs of money. I given that. I given that. But I am not giving any design. Means where is the entrance? Where is the first bedroom? Where is the second bedroom? Where is hall? I am not giving any design. Just I am asking start construction for double bedroom flat. Is it possible guys? No. Definitely they will not start. Whenever 
if you given the if you given the design means this is the entrance this is the hall like that depending on your design construction people start construction correct or not same like the programmer developer to develop the application first of all design should be done by architect and technical team they will they will design the requirements as a two documents such as high level design and low level design such as what to what high level design and low level design once again guys design done by architect or technical team they will design two types of documents such as high level design and low level design such as high level design and low level design once again based on the requirements based on the plan design done by architect team or technical team they will design the project as a two types of documents such as high level design and low level design outlook of the project requirements is called high level design inner look of the project requirements are called low level design what is high level what is low level i'll i'll give you the clear example guys let me take laptop laptop is a one product this is a high level design in laptop what is low level design keyboard mouse screen switch on or not battery everything comes into what yes low level design if you take only mouse only mouse is a high level design what about low level design left click right click scrolling and the focus light everything comes into what yes low level design if keyboard is high level design what is low level design alphabets are low level design numerics are low level design space are low level design special characters are low level design same let's comes into let's comes into real time example guys if gmail is high level design gmail page if gmail gmail what are the high level design login page high level design inbox page high level design compose mail high level design sent mail high level design what about low level design login page contains email id password sign in button create account and left side gmail logo everything comes into what yes low level design if if compose mail is high level design if you click on compose mail from to cc bc attach file send it to screenshot everything comes into low level design everyone are you clear my point so module wise comes into high level design every module requirement wise nothing but call as functionality wise call as low level design so architect design the requirements as a two types of documents such as high level design and low level design so based on the requirement based on the plan before development definitely architect they should design the project without design the project architect they not able to implement so two types of design documents are there such as high level design and low level design like module wise requirements is called high level and every module requirement wise nothing but functionality wise call as low level after design next phase very important phase you know that yes coding coding done by programmer also called as developer how by following the requirements by following the plan by following the design developer start writing the coding for responsible module by using different technologies such as java c sharp dot net ruby python php like that by using different different technology programmer start programmer start developing the application so once again based on the requirements based on the plan based on the design programmer start writing the coding for responsible module development every programmer start design for responsible module development so once again guys first of all sdlc starts with software bidding ceo go to client side confirm the project second phase 
kickoff meeting. This meeting will be conducting by the CEO to select project manager. To select project manager. Next, project initiation note. Nothing but call as information note which is prepared by project manager. Next, requirement gathering. Business analyst will go to client side collecting requirements from the customer. Prepare as a two documents such as BRS and SRS. After plan. Plan will be prepared by project manager. Design done by architect or technical team. They will design two types of design documents such as high level design and low level design. Next phase coding. Coding done by programmer. Yes, based on the requirements, plan, design, programmer start coding. Guys, after coding, what is next phase? Yes, after coding, what is the next phase, guys? Give me answer in chat box. Yes, testing. Very good. So, next phase, testing. Who will perform testing? Who will perform testing? No, not testing engineer. No, Richard, it is not QA. Of course, testing engineer also called as QA. Guys, that's what uh, I told you already. Real time implementation different, subject different. So now, as per your BTEC and CA subject, after coding, testing will be start by testing engineer. But you know, the real time what happened? Whenever coding completed, before start testing engineer job, to confirm the correctness of code, first of all, programmer testing the project, nothing but call as white box testing. Once again, whenever coding is completed, before start testing engineer job, to confirm the correctness of code, which is carried out by the programmer call white box testing. Why programmer conducting testing? For small example, guys. As a student, as a student, if you're writing any exam in examination hall, after completion of exam, answer paper before giving to newsletter, what you will do that? Yes, you will cross check whether my answer is correct or not. Once you will cross check, then you will give to testing, like then you will give to newsletter. Same developer also. Once coding is completed, once coding is completed before giving to testing engineer to confirm the correctness of code programmer testing on coding part call as white box testing programmer testing on coding part call as white box testing with two levels are there such as such as unit testing such as what unit testing and integration testing once again Everyone, look at my screen. Whenever 100% coding completed before start testing engineer job, first programmer they will test coding part called as white box testing with two levels such as unit testing and integration testing. So each and every part of the code working or not called unit testing. Combining all all are interconnected or not integrated or not call as integration testing once again each and every part of the code working or not called unit testing combining all all are interconnected or not integrated or not call as integration testing i will show guys practically what is unit testing what is integration testing uh, here let me open one small application see this is one travel application mercury travels this is the front end whatever the the front end the images and buttons all are called as front end to develop this front end developer they will prepare some code they will prepare some code in the back right so once again uh, uh, like this is a front end application developer to develop this front end back end they will prepare some code are you clear my point so whether whether 
back end code guys back end they will prepare code by using java dot net c sharp like that this is a front end this is a back end code are you able to see guys back end code and developer to develop this holiday they will write separate code to develop this flight they will write separate code to develop these hotels they will write separate code so each and every part of the code working or not call each and every part of the code working or not call call unit testing once it is completed combining all all are interconnected or not integrated or not which is called as integration testing once again each and every part of the code working or not call as unit testing combining all all are interconnected or not call as integration testing so this is totally will performed by programmer on coding part whenever 100 percent coding and the white box testing completed by programmer then testing engineer job yes this is testing engineer job black box testing what is white box what is black box which is testing on coding part by programmer or white box which is testing on front end application on gui by testing engineer call black box once again testing on coding part by programmer call white box testing on front end application by testing engineer call black box so black box also collectivity of two levels black box also collectivity of two levels such as one is system testing second one is user acceptance testing second one is what user acceptance testing so totally testing means testing means here two methods such as white box testing method and black box testing method and four four levels such as unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing okay i hope i hope you understood guys once again whenever coding is completed whenever coding is completed so testing engineer conduct to like testing engineer before start the job programmer testing is programmer testing on coding part called white box so whenever 100 percent coding and white box testing then testing engineer job is called black box testing and again black box testing two levels are there such as system testing and user acceptance testing guys black box testing phase our job finding defects black box testing phase our job what finding yes finding defects okay so black box testing phase our job finding defects what is the first one system testing so system testing means we have to compare here expected value and actual value so what is expected what is actual before develop the application client requirement call as expected based on the requirement developed application call as actual so system testing phase we have to compare whether expected value equal to actual value or not and last level user acceptance testing like to check whether user accepted or not finally this testing will be carried out by business analyst guys once again on black box again two levels are there one is system testing second one is user acceptance testing system testing will performed by testing engineer and who will perform user acceptance testing business analyst to check whether user accepted or not guys i have one doubt why why user accept test testing will be carried out by business analyst I'll, I'll i'll tell you guys one small example i'll go to a restaurant i'll go to a restaurant and i'll give chicken biryani order and give you the uh, my order as a chicken biryani but they're serving curd rice are you clear my point i given the order as a chicken biryani but they're serving curd rice the debate should ask to 
the hotel ceo persons or i should ask to who will take my order just who will take my order i should ask to person because he is responsible for my satisfaction are you clear my point so i given my requirement to that person so i should i should ask to that person who will take my order same like that observe guys here who will here who will collect the requirements from the customer day one requirements will be gathered by business analyst so he is responsible for customer satisfaction that's what whenever all implementation activities are completed before giving to the customer business analyst will conduct user acceptance testing business analyst will conduct what user acceptance testing so finally testing means two methods such as white box black box and four levels what are the four levels unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing guys if interviewer ask the question when to start testing engineer job our answer should be not only coding after coding and after white box testing are you clear my point so once again if interviewer ask the question when to start testing engineer job answer should be after coding and after white box testing after coding after coding and after white box testing so totally two methods white box testing method black box testing method and four levels such as unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing so unit testing integration testing comes into white box system testing and user acceptance testing comes into black box whenever all implementation activities are completed project will release to release to customer whenever all implementation activities are completed delivery team project will release to customer so when after coding after testing after coding after testing then project will release to customer after release to customer if customer facing any problem then guys after release to customer if customer facing any problem then what then what see see guys today if i purchase a mobile if touch screen is not working so we have some we have some uh like uh, warranty and guarantee correct or not same after release to customer if customer facing any problem then support and maintenance after release to customer if customer facing any problem then we can provide support and maintenance guys one question one question who will give the support and maintenance i mean who will develop the application same team are again any new team by don't understand who will give that uh, support uh, who will develop the application uh, same team or any new team okay okay most of the students they give an answer as same team guys okay i'll ask you one question uh, i am using the laptop i purchased in hyderabad actually it is manufactured in pune it is manufactured in pune so i am using in hyderabad while using if any problem identify immediately can i go to pune no because nearby servicing centers will be there correct or not same like that so after release to customer if customer facing any problem separate team will be there who will give support and maintenance this is sdlc guys as a software engineer first you should have this the full all steps of the knowledge then only you can involve into software development implementation understand this point so once again all steps i'll explain one by one so look at look at my screen the first software bidding the first phase software bidding ceo go to client side ceo stands for chief executive not chief 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 executive officer so ceo go to client side confirm the project next kickoff meeting 
this meeting conducting by the ceo to select project manager third one project initiation note it is a information note which is prepared by project manager next requirement gathering business analyst and system analyst collecting the requirements from the customer finally prepare as two documents such as brs and srf next plan will be prepared by project manager design will be done by architect team such as high level design and low level design next coding done by programmer based on the requirements plan design coding done by programmer by using different technology such as java c sharp python ruby etc and finally testing two methods such as white box and black box and four levels such as unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing and our job black box testing our goal finding defects so what is our job finding defects at black box testing phase so whenever all testing methods and levels completed project successfully released to customer after release to customer if customer facing any problem then then provide support and maintenance of the project everyone i hope you understood guys can I ask questions are you ready very good okay so guys i'll ask questions everyone so ping me an answer in chat box guys if you not respond if you not respond we will ever you from the meeting okay just we need we need response from you just we need response from you uh, just then only we can understand whether you are understanding or not okay just just guys just uh, i'll ask the questions either right or wrong no problem just uh, try to ping the answer in chat box okay so my first question is my first question is sdlc will explain all implementation activities or only testing app activities sdlc will explain all activities or only testing activities yes yes very good very good good response yes all activities okay good next next brs and srs two types of documents are there which document we have to start analyzing i mean brs or srs which document we have to analyze guys brs srs which document we have to understand brs or srs no guys not brs yes 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 mitika we are if if you testing engineer then yes then only srs we have to analyze very good next guys here uh, who will prepare infor, uh, information note who will prepare information note yes and and yes very good very good and it contains information or requirements of the project it contains information or requirement yes just information next very good next question designing time two types of design documents are there such as what to what designing phase two types of design documents are there such as what to what yes high level design and low level design very good high level design and low level design next testing two methods are there and what are the names of two methods testing two methods are there what are the names of two methods yes yes very good yes very good 
and which is carried out by the testing engineer i mean white box or black box which is carried out by testing engineer very good yes black box and finally four levels of testing what are the names of four levels of testing guys so two methods of testing white box and black box and four levels of testing what are the four levels of testing give me the names give me the names what are the four levels of testing yes yes raja nagendra very good nagendra but see first unit integration second one system and the user accept test testing yes puneet yes rishad yes smritika good good purna good sri gayatri yes taitali good good manoj good response guys almost so 98% people they are giving the valid answer and next and the last question out of four levels which level we have to work i mean unit or system or system or integration or user accept or testing where we can work where we can work yes yes very good very good system testing yes system testing very good guys okay so i hope i hope you understood guys up to here and finally one question final question why programmer job is called white box why testing engineer job is called black box mostly programmers are white color testers are black color <laughs> their white is called white box and black box guys i'll tell you coding part programmer point of view very clear coding part that's what it is called white box so black box black box testing on testing like uh, on front end application we don't know what is the back end code that's what uh, this is called black box testing understand yes code is not visible for testing engineer that's what called black box and in white box code is visible that's what it is called white box are you okay okay fine guys i hope you clear guys up to here and yesterday today just to introduction classes and the regular classes will be start from so next week understand the regular classes will be start from next week from the 18th from the 18th so i hope you got it yesterday and recordings also guys and so once again so yesterday today just demo sessions guys introduction classes and the main regular classes will be start tuesday uh, next week tuesday from 18th onwards the regular classes will be there okay so uh, but next week onwards every day regular classes will be there every week five classes from monday to friday from monday to friday classes will be there okay and and uh, guys don't expect the basic knowledge from the classes 100% after completion of course you can compare you can keep minimum five years of experience on software testing industry okay so we, here we can discuss manual testing with live project manual testing with live project we can discuss and we will forward every day notes and starting two to three days we will forward the recordings so recording not every day only starting two to three days only we will forward but notes and materials every day we will forward from our side understand guys so any doubts any questions you can uh, ping me in the chat box guys i'll give you reply no richard tomorrow no class next class from that next tuesday from 18th so this last two sessions are just introduction demo classes next week tuesday onwards the regular classes will be start yes manoj you can get that mail today class recording also i told you already starting three days recording so you can get that because that is introduction classes that's what yes 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 richard you, you will get you can get the notes every day
okay okay guys thank you thank you so much i hope you are clear very clear today class and so next class next week tuesday we can continue thank you guys again we can uh, continue class in next week thank you bye bye have a nice day to all see you in the next week bye bye